Hey guys, Moon Pies here. Happy Tube Tuesday, brought to you by NetStories.com as always. This week I come to reflect on the week before. Last week I did two things. I basically tried to hop on two uh, internet trends, I guess you could say. Uh, one was uh, was the Harlem Shake, and uh, that I had mixed results with that. And the other was so God made a farmer uh, spoof, which is done really well. And basically, a lot of times with with YouTube, things pick up in a hurry. The whole Harlem Shake thing. It started the first video was actually a clip within a clip uh, of disaster music uh, of like a blog pad a blog vlogcast. And then uh, a, a, a TCSS, like a skate team, uh, actually took that one segment and made their own version of it and put it up on February 1st. So as of this month, Harlem Shake, the trend didn't exist really until the first video was popped up on February 1st. As of five days ago, there were 29,000 videos on YouTube. As of right now, there are 70,000 videos with the Harlem Shake. And you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Basically, it's a 30-second clip done to a techno song called Harlem Shake by Bauer. And it just starts with one person in a single pose. Uh, uh, basically, people are standing still doing run-of-the-mill things. And one person is just doing kind of like a pelvic thrust little dance, usually with a helmet or some kind of headgear. Um, there are variations of it. And then 15 seconds in, the song kicks, the rest of the, you know, the song kicks in and boom everyone's just basically wigging out it's one of the easiest videos you'll ever make if you have a group of people it's a fun video to make uh, I certainly had fun filming it with just the funny uh, which is the improvisational comedy troupe uh, the only place in South Florida the only theater dedicated to improv comedy right now is just the funny um, after the only other theater closed down last year uh, um, you know and, and, and I'm sorry about that because I, I love improvisational comedy but just the funny JustTheFunny.com, I guess, is where you can find them. Um, I'm part of that troupe, and uh, we were talking about making a Harlem Shake video. And in the time, the idea to make a Harlem Shake video, a few a week into the trend, and by the time we actually put out the video, you can say that the trend was already played out. I mean, obviously, by now it's all played out. When you fall into a trend this late, uh, you know, if you haven't made a Harlem Shake video and you do, uh, you know, you can do it just for the fun's sake. But the important thing now, if you're making a video now, is to try to raise the bar. Uh, there was one video where it starts like it's a Harlem Shake video, and then some guy just comes in and just smacks the guy around. The central guy says, "No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it." Uh, and of course, now that that you know the spoof on the spoof has already been done, maybe there's no other room. But I'm sure if you're gonna do a Harlem Shake video, think of how you can raise the bar. Think about it. There's already seventy thousand videos out there doing this, and just for the record, this is a copyright. You know, this is a copyright song. Uh, and I didn't upload my version until I saw that there was actually like SMP films, mediocre films. Uh, you know, some of the big YouTubers were doing exactly this, putting up those 30 second clips with the real song. So I figured, well, if they're doing it, uh, then YouTube's at least is, the band is actually probably, you know, Bauer's probably looking forward to all the publicity they're getting, so they're not doing anything about it. And, and that's why I went ahead and uploaded it. Normally, you shouldn't take a song that's not yours and put it on a video. Uh, but this is one case where, at least for now, they're not going to take down these 70,000 videos. Uh, um, it's just too productive for the band and, and you know too prolific for YouTube at this point. I mean, the, the most watched videos have millions of views. The early videos or the unique videos like one uh, with a Georgia Sw University of Georgia swim team done underwater. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of ways that you can either raise the bar or do something about it. But that was it. The other one, I think there's still a little legs on this one because there really aren't a lot of people doing this. Um, the, in the Super Bowl, it was a commercial, uh, you know, there was a, a truck commercial. And they took Paul Harvey's "So God Made a Farmer," which is like an old speech. Paul Harvey is this uh, uh, this guy who used to have the uh, you know, and now you know the rest of the story. Uh, this guy with a wonderful inflection, radio personality, who for decades was doing these inspirational little tidbits of stories and you know feel good pieces. And he died a few years ago. They scraped up this piece about "So God Made a Farmer," basically saying on the eighth day God created you know, and all these traits that go to farming, and. I saw someone upload a video called So God Made a Liberal. And basically it's just a political spoof obviously, you know, from a conservative knocking liberals. But the video uh, now has like more than a million views uh, just because it, it spoofed it at the time when people were actively thinking about it. 
I didn't think about this right away. I thought about it was already more than a week after the Super Bowl when I said, hey, you can apply the so God made a trend to anything, any anything you can think of, uh, anything you do, whatever your profession is, you can make a so God made a video. I decided to do a general one, so God made a YouTuber, and I uploaded it. And it was real simple, you know. I just used Microsoft, you know, their live Windows Live Movie Maker, which is a free program for all Windows computers. And I actually uh, recorded the audio through Audible.com, which is again another great free audio recording uh, utility. So I just recorded the bit. It was about a, a little longer than a minute, and then went through YouTube and found uh, not through YouTube, but you know, went found images of, of famous YouTubers, incorporated them in, edited it into the video, put it out. And as of right now, even though the video's only been up eight days, it has nearly 9,000 views, uh, which is a great amount of number views for most YouTubers. Uh, obviously, for some people, uh, it isn't. Uh, but it's it, as far as I go, it's my most watched video since February of last year. And if you if you do the math, if this video, it's obviously it's not going to keep trending at a thousand views a day, but it's going to become a very big video over time. As far as my general, you know, right now it ranks like somewhere around 40th, my 40th watched most watched video. Uh, but it's going to be climbing up the charts because it's gaining traction. Um, I got lucky, uh, you know, with a with an attractive thumbnail that you know magnetic thumbnail uh, that also helps. But the whole so God made a blank theme. If you're a teacher, so God made a teacher. So God, just look up on the internet for the text of the so God made a farmer by Paul Harvey. The text is there. You can also just look up the commercial, the so God made a farmer. Uh, I think it was Dodge. I'm sorry if I'm forgetting the truck company that put it out. Uh, I think it was Dodge Ram. Uh, I think so. The ad itself, basically, it was just simple little. You know, if you have any kind of writing chops, it's easy to just frame something in the perspective. So God made us so and so, and you know, ha try to deliver it in kind of a Paul Harvey type of inflection, uh, which I'm not very good at voices or impersonations, but you know, I tried to just give it that little sing song type when I was doing it. And yes, just like that, um, I've out of nothing created a video that's been generating a thousand views a day uh, so far this week, this past week. So that's this week's YouTube. Tube Tuesday lesson, and that is hopping on to trends. You know, and I hopped on to this month, uh, the So God Made a Farmer from the Super Bowl, and the Harlem Shake, which uh, has become too big of a trend. So you also have to, you know, you have to hop on these trends early or differentiate yourself in some way that will make yourself stand out to the people who've already jaded and seeing everything. So good luck. If any of these things work for you, uh, if you can make a Harlem Shake video and make it a little different, great. But I think you probably will get more traction on the So God Made a blank uh you know so god made a policeman so god made a fireman so god made a comic book collector so god made a a a, a you know a my little pony fan it doesn't really matter whatever you're into just come up with you know if you're passionate about that you can write a nice little you know homage to your ode to your to to what you either you do for a living or your hobby your collection anything you do so god made a whatever that is Flesh it out. Put some screenshots in there. It'd be great if you owned the screenshots. If it was pictures of yourself or you know of, of your, you and your friends doing it, but you know if, if you're, sometimes you have to cheat a little. Um, I understand that, and that's how the so God made a liberal has you know a million views, and it's you know the clips are obviously not owned by the person who made the video. So these are just two trends you can hop on. One maybe a little too late to hop on. The other one. Even though it's just as old as the Harlem Shake, the Super Bowl was just a few days after the first Harlem Shake video, I think it still has legs because people are not seeing enough of them on YouTube. So enjoy these videos. Go ahead and make them. And if you do, please make a video response. Make it a video response to this video. I accept all video responses. And it's a, it's a perk that a lot of people abuse, I know. Uh, but it's there for you. So if you have a video, you can always attach it to this one as a video response. Uh, but if you do make one of these videos specifically, do as a video response because I'd love to check them all out. So, this is Moon Pies. Once again, Tube Tuesday. I hope February's treating you all well, and I will see you next week. Thank you. Goodbye.